What's up everyone, Greg Nowacki here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to generate leads using LinkedIn. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and definitely give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get into it. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use LinkedIn to actually generate leads. Now this isn't something that you guys are just gonna be able to like set it and forget it. There is gonna be some work involved, but let me show you guys exactly what it is and how to use it. In one second, I'm going to share my screen. All right. So all of you are familiar with LinkedIn and the power of it. So currently there's about 500 million users on LinkedIn. So there's a huge opportunity here to connect with likewise business owners and people that are actually looking for your services. But it really comes down to how you set up your LinkedIn profile as well as this Chrome extension that I'm gonna share with you guys. So first off, let's talk about your LinkedIn profile, right? Now, most people on their LinkedIn profile, and we can even pull up a couple examples, right? So here I have some restaurant owners. So let's look at Scott Jacobson, right? So if we look at Scott's profile, it says like restaurant management recruiter nationwide, blah, blah, blah. It says, um, you know, 2016 Presence Club Award winner and a bunch of different things, right? So, you know, his headline here could be a little bit better. So if we take a look at my profile, and mine was definitely not set up this way a couple days ago, but I definitely optimized it so that it gets more engagement. So for any of you guys that are doing social media management, this is key for you guys, right? So your headline needs to be something that is SEO friendly. Now you're gonna have a headline that says like digital marketing consultant helping ex business owners grow their business, something like that. So for my, my particular niche, I'm focusing on helping uh, health providers grow their business. So if somebody types into Google and they're looking for uh, an agency that is helping healthcare professionals, there's a high likelihood that mine's going to show up. The next part too is your summary. Now some people have a really long summary and other people don't really have a summary at all. Mine before used to be just kind of like uh, values, I guess you could say. I think it said like optimistic leader and things like that. And after going through it, I, I redid it to talk about what it is that I actually provide to healthcare providers. So we come back up here. What we're looking at is this extension. So this Chrome extension is called Duck Soup. And what you do is you install this extension and you can actually see it over here in the right hand corner of my browser. This extension is essentially like a bot. And what it does is it goes through LinkedIn profiles and it gathers information on the profiles that you're visiting. So let's go back to restaurant owners. So as you could probably see earlier, it started to activate over here. As you see, so at your service, right? So it activates as soon as you're on profiles. And what this does is it goes through and it automatically visits profiles based on what you're searching for. So if you're in the restaurant niche and you type in restaurant owner, and let's make it for California, right? California search. It's gonna pull up 930 results of people that have identified on LinkedIn that they're restaurant owners, and these are people that are in California. So we have 930 results right here, all these different people, right? So if you guys were to try to contact these people individually, it will take you forever. And I was the type of person that was going through Yelp, I was Googling and trying to compile all this information just by writing it out and creating a spreadsheet. What DuckSoup does is it will automatically visit each one of these profiles and you do this by going to visit profiles. So as soon as I click visit profiles, it'll give you this little message that you just click okay. And there's some more advanced things that you can look into that and I can show you guys in just a second. But you can see here, it says duck soup starting. And it takes a couple seconds, but as soon as it starts, it'll say it's visiting Chris Alfaro. As you can see, that's the first result here, Chris Alfaro. And it gives you a little pop-up image of the bot visiting it. Now, when it's visiting the page, it's simply collecting the information of that profile. You can also set it up to where it automatically connects with the profile as well. So if they have it where you don't have to send them an in-mail, you can send them an automated message and it can be something as simple as like, hi, nice to meet you or pleasure to connect with you. If there's anything I can help you with, go ahead and uh, send me a message back. 
this thing will continue to go through every single one of these profiles. So if you continue to look over here at the right, you can see that it's still going to the next one now, right? Fifi K uh, Cow. Then it'll go to Nicole Humphrey, Matt Balmer, and it will continue as it goes all the way down the list. And you can see right here, we have over 10 pages of this stuff. So you can set this to where your profile will limit the amount of people. But here's the thing. There's two different versions. There's the free version and there's the paid version. With the free version, it will only visit profiles and you can um, revisit data and you can search by tags. But some of these other things like uh, the download data and then there's also an additional thing called X-Ray. Um, these things are premium services. So when I first downloaded this, I was using the free version, but it was really limited. The most important thing that you need is this download data aspect right here. So as it's visiting all these profiles, it's collecting all this data, and up here at the top, you can see that my bot has already visited 1,006 profiles so far. That means I have 1,006 potential leads that I can get in contact with without having to build out this database myself. And as it continues to visit each profile, it does it pauses in between it, and then after it visits like a certain number, it'll pause for about a minute and 20 seconds. You can also set it to where you have a limit for how many profiles it visits on it in a, a day. So you can also do the visiting speed. So it's um, under 200 per hour, so that means it'll only visit 200 profiles every hour. You can speed it up as well. You can do it like between 50 and 150 per hour. You can also do over 500 per hour. There are some precautions though. When you increase the speed of the bot visiting these profiles, you run the risk of potentially getting in trouble with LinkedIn, as they say right here, limit daily visits, right? Like the higher your, your visits are to each page, LinkedIn might potentially shut you down for spamming and you don't want to get in trouble that way. But you want to limit it between about 400 visits per day. That's, that's a pretty good range as far as getting enough data on the different profiles. And the thing that's so amazing about this is that you can just open up the browser, go to LinkedIn, and then from there you just turn on the bot and you just let it run in the background. I'm actually going to turn it off because I don't want data on these restaurants restaurant owners, so hold on one second. So you can have this just running in the background, which means you can go about doing anything else you want. Like if you wanted to work on like a Facebook advertising campaign at the same time, you can. You can also work on doing graphic design work if you wanted to. And you just have this thing running in the background. Now it's connecting with all these profiles and it's sending them, uh, I wanna connect with you. That doesn't necessarily mean that those people are automatically becoming leads, right? we still have to go a step beyond that and actually connect with them. So over here, I've had this going for a couple of days now and I've had an increase of about 20, 30 people that are accepting my uh, requests. You can see that they are also viewing my profile, which is why it's so important for you guys to have that optimized headline. Now, as these people are viewing their profile, you might be a potential match for them just regarding the services that you're offering and they might reach out to you directly. But the other part too is that you do need to follow up with them, right? It's not something where automatically when they connect with you all of a sudden they're like, oh, I need this guy, I need to work with them. So over in your network, as you add additional people, and I have no pending invitations right now. So before I started using this, I was probably at around 300, and 80 connections. Now I have 421, and it's gonna to continue to rise. But right here, okay, so right here is all the new people that have added me. So you can see Andrew Tressler, Dr. Ed Monsagi, uh, Johnny Franco, and now that we're connected, we can send them a message. This is where you guys can send them a personal message saying like, hi, Dr. Tressler, um, you know, if there's anything that I can help you with, feel free to reach back out to me. I hope you have a great week. Great. And that's it. Depending on how they respond to it, then you can go to the next step and say like, Hey, you know, I would love to get on a phone call with you. Or do you have a couple minutes to talk? Or maybe they don't respond, right? Then that's when you can follow up with them. You can wait like a couple days and then you can maybe send them like a helpful resource. Maybe it's like a blog post or maybe you send them something like, Hey, I noticed on your website that there was uh, this issue and I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Now you're providing value to them 
And because you're already connected, there's gonna be a high likelihood that they're gonna respond to you. Now over time, you're gonna to start to build up those lists of people. And that's why the ability to download the data is so important. So when you click on download data, it's gonna create an Excel spreadsheet. And you can see it's visit data, so it's creating this spreadsheet. And I'll pull it up in just a second. So as that's pulling up, um, this is something that you guys can use kind of in a passive way of generating leads based on the niche that you are focused on. And there's so many advantages of this because instead of going through Google and typing in this stuff or paying somebody to do a lead generation, you can have it do it like this. So right here, it shows the time that you visited. So it'll show like the date that you guys visited the profile. It also shows the, the URL of that profile and it also shows the degree. So as you guys know on LinkedIn, there's first degree, second degree, and third degree, and it's all dependent on who your connections are with that person. Then it also shows their first name, their last name, also shows their title. So it'll show like, are they a plastic surgeon? Are they a cosmetic surgeon? It shows their company. It also shows if there's an email, or I'm sorry, a, a web page available. And in some cases, there's an email available and a phone number. Then it also shows a city, and then it also shows the industry that they're in. And you can also add things like tags, so you could say like a dermatologist tag. You can also include notes as well. So right here on the right-hand side, because this is an extension, over here, there's a little box that says for tags. Okay, there we go. So it shows your tags and then it also shows notes. So you guys can leave notes as well saying like, okay, first follow up with this guy on 724, <coughs> but you can also add a tag as well. This is only available though with the premium version, not the, not the free version. Now the free version, you do have some capabilities, but honestly, like after five minutes, I realized, okay, I'm gonna need the premium version. So you guys can go to this website and it's called ducksoup.com. They have it where there's two different types of choices. You can do the free, like I said, right? Or you can do $15 a month. Or what I did was I included a link below. So in the link below, you guys have two options, one for six months and one for a year. Now at $15 a month, you're, you're looking at, you know, I think it's um, like $100 for a six month period. But if you sign up for six months, you get it for $75. And then the same thing for 12 months, you get it for $135. Now over time, this is gonna start to build up and you're gonna start to generate leads off this. And as you connect with them, you're gonna start to grow your network. And from there, you can start to connect with these, these people and start to create these conversations where they potentially might need you. The other cool thing about Duck Soup as well is that you can set this to revisit the profiles on a given schedule. Let me see where that is. All right. Um, right here. So skipping. So say you start to run the bot again and you're going through and you're generating more leads. Rather than the bot visiting the profile again, you can set it based on the time frame. So like for mine, I have it set for a month. So that means as I continue to run this bot on a day-to-day -day basis, the profiles that I've already visited will skip. But once a month passes, my bot will revisit these profiles again, which means I'm also showing up as kind of like a brand awareness on their profile. So it'll show Greg visited their profile again, or. For you guys, it'll show that you visit the profile again. You can change this to um, you know, seven days, 14 days, three months, or never visit the profile again. I think a month is probably the best timeline as far as when you're gonna revisit the profiles. That way it doesn't show that like you're showing up every couple days, but at least if you show up in another month, maybe they go back on their profile in a month and they see that you visit their profile again. And now they're all of a sudden like, why does this guy keep visiting my profile, right? Well, now they might message you. Or maybe they see your message finally, and then they say, oh yeah, I could definitely um, you know, use your services. This thing is invaluable. Honestly, for the $75, it's well worth it. The other challenge though, is that even with the $75, you do need to upgrade to LinkedIn Premium. With LinkedIn Premium, you're able to visit as many profiles on a daily basis, as much as you want. 
if you only have the regular LinkedIn, you can only visit up to three profiles when you search. So like if we go up to restaurant owners, right? What will happen is it'll give you the first three results. So you'll see this one, this one, this one, and then below it'll be blurred out. And I'll say you need to upgrade to LinkedIn premium in order to continue searching. Or the next day it'll show a different set of people and then you can continue to search there as well. But in combination with the LinkedIn premium and the premium duck soup, you're gonna be able to visit as many profiles as possible on a daily basis. And then over time, this is gonna compound. So like I said, this isn't something where right away these people are calling you up. You have to optimize your profile. And then from there, you're gonna to start to connect with these people. And then you have to take it a step further and you have to start building these relationships with them and actually sending them a message, helpful resources, things of that nature. <coughs> that are actually going to get them interested in what you have to offer. So um, like I said below, I'm going to include a link so that you guys can get the premium version. So it's $75 for six months as well as $135 for a year. I think just go with the six months and 75 bucks is not that bad. And it's well worth it because if you think about it, you get one client out of the $75 plus the LinkedIn premium, depending on what package you guys sign up for. Uh, the one I have is the business one and that's 50 bucks. So even at that price, if you were to land one additional client from using these types of tools, it's going to pay for itself. And over time, you'll, you'll start to build up more and more connections, which also means that as other people discover your profile and they see that you're connected with another person that they might be connected with, there's a high likelihood that they'll end up connecting with you because they think, oh, you know that person already, right? So LinkedIn is something that I personally didn't use that much in the past. But as I've seen this actual extension work wonders, it's well worth the money spent. I'm gonna to start to use LinkedIn more and more as I start to build my agency over time. It, you can also include articles, right? You can also start to do where you share things more frequently. It all depends on what your goal is, but for an agency, it's so important to have multiple strategies to generate leads. We can do uh, paid advertising, right? Or we can do blog posts, or we can drive traffic to our website, or we can go to networking events, or we can uh, do cold calling or cold email. There's so many different ways, but this is a great way to use lead generation without spending a ton of money on advertising because essentially you're not advertising, right? Like you're paying for the service of duck suit and then you're paying for the LinkedIn premium. And from there, you're able to connect with people in a way that is more natural. Most people are, going to accept your request and then you're just sending them a message, right? So if you guys like this video, definitely go ahead and subscribe and definitely give a thumbs up and stay tuned for more ways to generate sales. Hope you guys have a great day and talk to you soon.